Juno and the Peacock. My next story is about the peacock. He is the most royal of birds, or so he thinks. When I shine down with my bright rays, he loves to open up his feathers to show off all his wonderful colours. How he gleams with emerald gold, purple and azure. Why he is so shining that he considers himself a worthy rival to me. But he was not always so bright and beautiful. His life abruptly changed when, one day, as he was pecking grass by the lake, he met the goddess Juno. He knew that his chance for transformation had come. Divine Juno, lovely goddess, he said. Why are my feathers so plain and ordinary? I want to be beautiful. I long for everyone to admire me, and in fact, I want to be the most indisputably magnificent bird in the world. You. Our goddess, you can do this for me in an instant. If you work your will, even the emperor will admire and envy me. I pray, dear goddess, make me magnificent. Juno looked at the dull and ordinary bird and thought, "How vain and pretentious he is! I will give him what he wants." But I will teach him a lesson. When the peacock next saw his reflection in the water, he realized that she had granted his wish, for he was beautiful beyond his dreams. His feathered tail was more magnificent than the tapestry that hung behind the emperor's throne. The other birds gathered around to admire him. And now he strutted up and down like a king, and how he patronised all the scruffy farmyard birds, the hens, the geese, the ducks, and other such riffraff. But the other birds were not gazing at him as he thought they should. They were looking up to the sky. He looked up too, and he saw how the powerful and kingly eagle span out his wings and soared high into the heavens, so high that he flew up to wish me good morning through the clouds. Who could doubt that the eagle was the most royal of all the birds? Not the duck. And the geese who squawked in homage to the soaring king. Pa, said the peacock. I will fly even higher. He lifted his wings, but they were heavy, and weighed down with decorative feathers. Yes, he looked wonderful. But the sly goddess had made him pay a price for his beauty. He could no longer fly. Hmm. I thought, as I looked down. That peacock is all show. Oh yes, there is a good moral in this tale. Don't harm your strength and your health for the sake of beauty. It's not only feathers that make fine birds.